R has a number of built-in functions to calculate summary statistics. What I have done is to load the trees data set and let's just uh, issue the stir command to take a look at the structure of this particular data set and you can see that there are three different variables uh, all are numeric variables and for our purposes here let's just uh, concentrate on girth so what I can do is to figure out what the mean value of girth is by issuing the mean uh, command and I will need to specify the data set which is trees and then girth is the variable so I'll run that and I get my value of 13.2439 what I'm going to do now is to attach the trees data set um, and that will make it unnecessary for me to have to, to type in trees dollar sign uh, every time so now R knows that uh, if I specify it knows that I'm specifying uh, the trees data set so let's calculate the median of girth and you can see the value is 12.9 um, down below I can also calculate uh, the standard deviation so measure of the variability do that like so um, a non-parametric uh, measurement of variation is called the the median absolute deviation or MAD and I can calculate that so there's my value down below um, I can calculate the minimum value of girth and that lowest value is 8.3 the maximum value 20.6 then a very useful uh, series of, of summary statistics is the five number system so issue the five num command and do that for girth and what I've got are the five numbers below the lowest number is the minimum value which we calculated earlier 8.3 uh, the highest value on the far right is the maximum value 20.6 as you can see there the middle value 12.9 is the median uh, value which we calculated here and then these two values the second and the fourth are the 25th and 75th percentiles respectively so for the 11.05 value 25 percent of all values are below that 75 percent are above and for 15.25 25% of the values are higher than that number and 75% are below. We'll find that uh, using the five num system is important when you're plotting box plots. There is a very useful uh, command called the summary command and I'm going to issue the summary command on all three of the variables. So we're going to do the summary on the trees data set and issue that command and what you can see is that I get the uh, essentially the five numbers the min first quartile the median the, the third quartile and the maximum as well as the mean value for each of my three variables that's a very useful useful feature there are other uh, statistics that we might want to calculate that the summary statistics uh, will not give you and a very useful package that that I like is one called the psych package if you don't have the psych package package installed in your copy of R then that's the command to do so I won't run that command here because I already have it installed but once you install the package then you still need to load it so I'm going to require that psych be used here and I'm all set there so what I can do now is just to uh, use the command describe and uh, I'll say that I want all the variables in trees to be described by psych and when I do that I get the values down here so one of the uh, statistics that I get is the sample size in I got the mean standard deviation median 
The trend mean means that the top 5% and the bottom 5% of the values are removed. So I'm looking more at the central portion of the distribution, uh, trying to uh, minimize the effect of any outliers. There's the median uh, absolute deviation again, the minimum and maximum. There's the range, the difference between the minimum and the maximum. And then there are, there's the standard error, which you can see here. And then there are two higher moments of distribution called skew and kurtosis that can be very useful in some analyses.